Welcome back. This is going to be the second part of Project 6. And if you can remember, we got 206.8 square feet is how many surface area that we have on these blocks. I'll show you how to figure this out. Open up that uh, the concrete block calculations and uh, mortar calculations that's on your blackboard. And I'll show you how to do this. Really simple. This is what you're looking at. And again, I want to show you something else here. This is your block. These are your webs inside here. This is your face shell. Remember, your face shell is always going to be at least one and a quarter inch. Your webs have to at least be one inches thick. Okay? Just make sure that you understand that. All right. This is the block calculation. This is the mortar calculations. Real simple, real easy. We, uh, we had 206.8, so you need just to get you a scrap piece of paper and just write this down. 206.8 cubic feet. The reason we did it in and uh, calculated it into, uh, I mean, square foot, not not cubic feet, square feet, was because this is how this chart is laid out. Now the block size is the first thing you need to look for, and uh, find the block that you're using. We used a 12 or an 8 by 8 by 16 just a standard CMU block and uh, they're saying over here that uh, I don't know how to highlight this they're saying over here per hundred square foot of wall so every hundred square foot it takes a hundred and twelve and a half block to do it to fill that wall up so what you do is 206.8 was how many square feet that we had. Well, they're wanting to know over 100 square feet of wall area. We got 206. What you do is divide it by 100 because that's how many square feet, that's how many hundreds that we have out of 206.8. So divide it by 100, you get 2.068 is how many hundreds that you have in this, uh, in these walls. Then you take that number and you basically times it by how many that there is. 112.5 equals 232.65. That's how many block exactly that you would need. But I want to tell you something. Go ahead now and we want to estimate a 5% overage times point times point oh five when you do this this is just uh, calculating for scrap or anything of that sort because I guarantee you'll have a block that breaks or a defect in the block or something like that and you don't want the masons to have to stop production and to get this thing finished because you didn't order enough so and it's important when you're estimating something not to uh, not to estimate under because you're not going to make any money at it. So we're looking at 12 block here extra. So we'll take that number. I'm just going to say 12 plus and We had 232.65. We'll say 233. It equals 245 block is what we have to have. 245 block is what it's going to take of 8 by 8 by 16. Now, figuring out how much mortar that we need. It's real simple and easy. You've got 245 block. It was really, you need to go back to your original number. It was 233, 232.65. We're going to take and put 233 in here per 100 block. All you gotta do is just divide it by 100 because they're wanting no per 100 blocks. 2.33 and then you times it by and look for your number 8 inch. Times it by 7.5 this is cubic feet. Boom. You're looking at uh, 17.475. Okay, that's how many cubic feet. Now, just like we did a few minutes ago, we got to count overage. You, because 
you're always going to have you are always have something that'll spill you'll always have some mortar that you don't all use or something that you're going to have a lot of waste hopefully not but you're going to have some so we need to calculate and when you're calculating for mortar it can be between 15 to 25 percent overage and the reason they say that is because the higher side is in the uh, in climates where there's a lot of rain and uh, if it's on the outside now if you're laying block on the inside you would want to go toward the 15 percentage side because you know you're when you mix up a bunch of mortar you're not going to waste it you can't you know if it starts raining you, you know if you're under cover you're going to be fine. You can go ahead and just keep on laying block. Where on the outside, if you didn't have something to cover you up, you're going to have to quit. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to times this number here by I want to say let's go 15 percent. And 15 percent is 0.15 decimal form. So we're going to add 2.62 to it. Uh, so plus our original 17.475 and you're going to have right around and it would be okay if you just use 20 for that 20 cubic foot of mortar all right so that's how you'd end up having 200, needing 245 block and 20 cubic feet of mortar. 